Hey folks, as promised, finally a video showing the recovery of blue steel. We got it back here to the shop. Go ahead and throw that locker on and we should be good. <laughs> That's all there is to say about that. I got nothing. <laughs> I got Trying to get her back into the shop here. What time is it? Nine o'clock at night. What are we doing? Just taking apart my van. Getting ready for the body shop. See what they say. Brooke, are you having fun yet? Yes. <laughs> As instructed by the insurance company, we went ahead and removed quite a few of the parts that were on the van to get it ready for the damage assessment. So they're supposed to come pick this thing up tomorrow and then let me know what, uh, what, the, what the verdict is. If they're gonna total it, if it's repairable, uh, I have no idea. I mean, I, I am hopeful that it's repairable, but then again, I look at this thing and uh, it just makes me sad. And I think, man, maybe we need a fresh start. But either way, uh, the big takeaway is everyone was okay. It could have been a heck of a lot worse. And I learned a ton. Um, document everything. I mean, everything that's in this van. Going through this has been an insane exercise of uh, just going back through all of our records and, and remembering what we have into it. I mean, I thought I did a pretty good job. And then when you sit down and think about it, I, I'm not even close to documenting everything that that I've put into this um, obviously countless hours but tons and tons of parts so I would encourage everybody uh, learn from what I've had to go through here document everything that you've done to your vehicle save all of your receipts regularly update your insurance company with what you have into your vehicle make sure that they're okay with covering it just have that conversation you know I I did that but not to the extent that I should have and so We'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, anyways, I wanted to get this out there, show you guys the video, and just move forward. You know, I've been incredibly busy here at the shop trying to deal with this, get it out the door, and also do business, move forward, move forward with hiring people, move forward with our, our new building construction that's going on. So a lot of things on my plate, and uh, a part of me is just happy to have this out the door and behind me and and then move on to the next thing, uh, whatever that may be, whether it be repairing this or a new van, a new project. So um, yeah, just, just looking forward to moving forward here. Um, thank you all for your concern, for reaching out and checking in on us, making sure everything was cool. And also for your patience. You know, Everybody that's here in the shop currently, thank you for being patient and understanding what we're going through. 
um, understanding why we're not posting photos and videos every day and understanding why it may take a day or two longer to get your rig out the door than we had originally thought. So thank you very much for your patience and huge thanks to my crew. They've been working overtime. I've had friends come over here late at night, just helping out, trying to get caught up, uh, trying to just stay on top of everything. So thank you to everyone. It's incredible seeing all of the um, incredible people that come forward and, and help out in times like this. So I'm extremely thankful for that. Um, anyways, enjoy the video. Um, you know, and, and hopefully everybody can take away something from this uh, and it be a positive in some way. Um, record everything, you know, document it all, update your insurance companies, like I mentioned, and then uh, just be careful. I mean, wear your seatbelts, ensure your van is, is uh, in good working order. Make sure if you have an airbag light on, make sure you get that checked out. I mean, ours went off and they did their job and I'm damn sure glad that they did. So, um, don't ignore that kind of stuff. And uh, again, thank you all for the support and we'll see you soon.